Okay, we have an air conditioner here that has a little bit of a problem. You can see where its saturated pressure is about 142, uh, which equals about 79, which is actually a little bit low, but it has been running, so it's probably uh, uh, a little lower than it should be, because it's more like between 85 and 90 degrees out here. Uh, remember, this is a test unit. This is not an operating unit. This is just for tests. Okay, um, I'm going to start this machine up, and I want you to watch the pressures. That's an R22 machine. I also wanted to note, this unit is somewhat low on charge. The pressures really don't show the charge level as being necessarily low. It shows a different problem, but uh, we can add charge to this as we go along. This is your condenser, in, uh, condenser ambient air coming into the condenser right there. That's your temperature. We have good airflow, oil's clean, so it looks like we're settling down at 128 or 129 head pressure and 80 suction. I would also say the return air temperature to the air handler is also about 90 to 91. Let's do a little super heat and sub cool. Okay, here I want to note, your superheats at the outlet of the uh, evaporator, your subcool is at the inlet of the evaporator. To get a perhaps more accurate read of the subcool, I'll put it at the outlet of the condenser. However, I don't think it's going to make much difference. Okay, my subcool measurement is at the outlet of the condenser. Now you notice we're reading OL, which is uh, S-man language for I don't know what the heck is going on. My superheat's much too high. I have a negative subcool. Okay, let's try another little trick. I'm going to take the temperature of the liquid line. Okay, it's showing 87.2. Note that's below ambient. Now, I've, next I've changed that back up to where it was before, and now it's 84, well, let's get back up there, it's 83, okay, uh, does this make any sense to anybody? I can feel my liquid line. It's cooler than ambient, and that's borne out by the reading of 83. My ambient is over 90, so why do I have an 83 degree temperature of the line? Let's take a look at one other thing. Okay, there's a saturator, 
75. That's below ambient too. If I saturated on my uh, suction side, it's 52. And we can come up with our uh, super heat and sub cool again. We're at 31. Uh, that acts like it's maybe low on charge. However, why do we have a sub cool that is lower than uh, the condensing temperature? Remember, that's 83 is the temperature of the liquid line. The saturated temperature is 75. Yeah, this is kind of goofy, isn't it? Does anybody have any idea of what's going on with this machine? And would you like to give me uh, give you other measurements? So I'm going to leave this up to you guys and see if you can figure out what you think is wrong with this machine. Give a couple more things on it. It's a two-ton old Friedrich pump. Reversing valve acts quite normal. Doesn't seem to have any temperature difference across it. And the coil is a two-ton coil. It's not a Friedrich coil, it's a train coil. I think the Friedrich probably failed, you can't get them anymore. So they put a train coil in. It is a fixed orifice device coil. So, hopefully I've given you all you need to figure this out. Probably not. But let's see if anybody can figure out what's going on or someone that wants to give me further things to attempt to diagnose what this problem is. Good luck, guys.